What's good, y'all? So I'm about to break down the sample. Let's get straight to it. All right, so here's the full P. We got like four sections in it. So I'm just gonna start off right here, break down the initial idea. So the first sound I added was this uh, pattern right here. And the VST is from Contact, Dolce Tone 1900 Bank. It comes with a bunch of presets right here, like eight presets, 10 presets. I went with the second one, and here's the MIDI without any effects. So basically it's just the two bar loops. I'm gonna delete all of this right now and try to explain this a little bit. So, so this is the C minor chord without the top note. This right here is a C minor chord without the middle note. Made it go up to the A sharp and then made this little descending melody right here. But after I had this up here, I added some notes down here as well. After I had this little section right here, I just duplicated it four times and kept it like this throughout the whole sample. The only effects I added to this was the dial P, just making it sound a little bit more gritty, giving it some textures. I also turned up the stereo a little bit right here and panned it a little bit to the right. That was basically the first idea of the sample. After that, I added this sound right here. That preset is from Analog Lab. It's from the bank that I've been working on. It's called the Runner preset. So there's the pattern. The effects on this one, I just copy pasted over the dial P and I also added an EQ, taking out some of the higher frequencies and the lower frequencies. And then the final thing, I just wanted to add something more to it. So I added this flute right here. And the flute is also from Contact, it's the Woodwind Solo Bank by Native Instruments and I went with the Staccato's flutes right here. Basically just freestyling some stuff, some simple stuff coming in and out at different parts of the sample so it's not always in your face. So that's everything for the first section, pretty simple, just three sounds and it sounds like this. For the second section, I start off with this sound right here, and it's just the original melody but pitched up one octave. Instead of just pitching up the audio file, I went back into the contact and pitched it up right here, and now it sounds like this. After that, I added this pattern right here, and it's the same preset as this melody right here, but also playing in a higher octave, so I'm gonna show you the pattern. Instead of making the chords in different like rhythms or whatever, I'm just playing them, I'm just playing the chords with all the notes hitting at the same time right here. And then over here, I just pitched down the middle note, making it a sus2 chord, giving it some more like dark energy in the sample. After these two sounds, I added a bass line, and it's kind of a gritty bass, and it's also from the Analog Lab, from the bank that I've been working on. It's called Crooked Sub Bass, and here's the pattern. It just follows the root note, goes up to the A sharp right here. But I wanted to transition in a cleaner way from the first section to the second section. So I went to Splice, and I found this sample right here. I just dragged it in right here, pitched it up 8 semitones, time stretched it to fit the BPM, then I chopped it up and now it sounds like this. I also routed it to mixture channel 15, it queued out some of the lows, boosted some here and kept it the same over here. And now together with the other sounds, the second section sounds like this. And the third section is pretty much the same section, I just removed these fast synths. And then for the final section I kept the high pitched bells right here, with the chords and with the flute, so the final section sounds like this. After that, I just added all the stems at the end right here, exported everything to a new WAV file, routed it to mixer channel 20. I didn't add any effects, I just turned it up right here at the mixer to make it louder, and here's the final sample. Mm -hmm. 